Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back, my name is PGHD here and today we are going to be doing Team of the Season predictions number 5. If you want to get any cheap game codes, don't forget to check out Marquee Dragon, their link will be in the description below. But we are going to jump straight on into this video and today as I said, we are looking at the right midfielder, which we are going to be doing Raheem Sterling from Liverpool. Probably one of their key players in their success this season. I honestly think they are probably going to win the league. If not, it will be Chelsea. So, into Sterling. Now, he's only 19 and he is really, really good. He's a really good player. And if he doesn't go to the World Cup this year, it's going to be a massive shock because he has been brilliant. As you can see, he is English. So, he would be a great addition to our national squad on our road to hopefully maybe get to the semi-finals or maybe even the final. I don't think we're going to win it, but that's a different story. But... This season for Liverpool, he's played 29 games, which is quite a lot for a player of his age as well. He's played in the majority of their games this season. He's scored seven goals and he's got three assists, which is I think is a really good record for someone who is only 19. To I think this is his first proper season, I'd say. I mean, last season he was okay, but he was never really that good. But this season, I mean, he has been phenomenal for Liverpool. And you can see he's taken 37 shots and these stats are correct as of today when I'm recording this. So if you're watching this in a week, don't complain at me because... When I recorded this, I got it from ESPN and the stats were correct as of then. But as you can see, Sterling is a 77 rated card. He is just a gold card. He did get an upgrade, I believe, from FIFA 13 where he was a silver. He was one of the more expensive silvers. Sterling now, I believe, goes for discard value. He's really cheap on Ultimate Team 2. Go and pick him up if you want. You can see his main stats there really are the pace and the dribbling. Sterling is very quick and he's a bit like Walcott. He's very quick. He's not as good in the shooting department or the passing. He's just very quick. But saying that, his, his dribbling is amazing. In the clips you'll see, he is a really solid dribbler. And when he gets the ball, there's almost no stopping him a lot of the time because he has quality. And you can see that I've given him an 84 rated card. Maybe that's a little bit high, but I really rate Sterling and I think he's amazing. I mean, that's coming from an Arsenal fan as well. I think Sterling is a quality, quality player. And you can see that I've bumped up quite a lot of his stats because I think if he was to get a team of the season card, he's already got an inform. So I think it would be quite a high rated team of the season card. As for how much this card would go for, I'm not too sure. I think to start with, it'd be going in the region of 300 to 450k. It would be very expensive to start with, but I feel that it would drop a little bit as some of the team of the season cards that we're probably going to see from other leagues and the BPL are going to be much, much higher than this. And will be like more than 10 times expensive, no doubt. But yeah, that's Sterling. That's number five. I really actually enjoyed watching Sterling. I think he's a great player and I enjoyed doing this one a lot more than the other ones. Just because he's kind of done more this season. Like the defenders and the goalkeepers, they don't get goals. They don't go on massive skill runs a lot of the time. But Sterling is just phenomenal. He's so quick. And for England, now that Walcott's out, I think Sterling's going to be kind of... He's going to have to step in and be the key player for us during the World Cup. But if you guys want to see two players per video, then drop it down below. Some people, someone has mentioned that, that maybe I should do two players per video. I'm not too sure about that. I might just carry on doing this kind of every other day and then we'll get it finished within the next week before Team of the Season does come out on FIFA. And then we'll see kind of how accurate my predictions were and we'll look. I'll probably do a video looking back to see how accurate they were. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. If we can hit this to five likes, that would be absolutely amazing. And I will speak to you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.